Hey, it's Randy Popes with Motor Trend, and this Ford Mustang EcoBoost is the Shelby GT350 of four-cylinder Mustangs with the engine from the well-loved Focus RS. Today, we're gonna take it out on the racetrack to find out what this untraditional performance Mustang is all about. I find this car very interesting. Why does it exist? In short, it's an ultimate performance version of a Mustang at a lower price, with better fuel efficiency and modern turbo technology. And it even sounds good. With both the high performance package and the next level EcoBoost handling package, this Mustang makes 330 horsepower and puts it to the ground through big 19 by nine and a half inch wheels shod with Pirelli P0 Corsa 4 tires. Corsa in Italian means race. That's some serious rubber with a motorsport-derived compound. I'm a late blooming baby boomer. I grew up with a Mustang. We had a 65, had that long hood, short deck proportion. So I like the Mustangs. This shape has been around for a few years and it still looks great. It's really based more on a 69 Fastback, including the taillights with this cool sequential turn signals. That really was the Cougar, not the Mustang. We had two of those too. Interestingly, each time you add a performance package to the Mustang EcoBoost, you get a bigger rear sway bar. It gets bigger, bigger, bigger. What that does is reduce understeer because the front sway bar is the same size. So the Mustang is getting more and more lively in each upgrade. And up front, bigger brakes. These are Mustang GT brakes and rotors. This part is spoiler. Underneath is the aerodynamic magic. There's a flat underpan that goes well back below the engine, reducing drag, reducing lift, and in it are a couple of tunnels, very clever, cut into that splitter to suck air up from underneath the car through deflectors mounted by the brakes to cool the brakes. Very cool arrangement that also reduces lift. These ducts on the hood, they're real. They opened up to underneath and let heat out. I love it when the ducts are real. That Turbo 4 is working so hard because it's running 22 plus pounds of boost and it's making 330 horse and 350 pound feet of torque. This little boosted four makes more low end torque than the V8. Great little engine driving a six speed Getrag that you know and love in the Mustangs and a newer 10 speed automatic that's smart. It works. Out back, the power runs into a rear end with a lower final drive. It's a 355. Lower gears is the oldest drag racing trick in the book. Makes a car accelerate faster. Now that we know what we're working with, Let's see what this pony with the heart of a hot hatch and some sticky Pirellis will do on track. Boy, I can break late in this car. balance through turn two. Oh yeah, we're going quicker than we did first lap. We just had to warm up these Pirellis. Good brakes up into turn three, flat out, very slight drift. Mustang chassis is really alive, beautifully balanced. Look at that. I can just power down, not a hint of wheel spin. Let's torque it out of here in fourth gear. Pulling good, pulling good. Come on, baby. Seat back's very supportive. Let's do this flat. Turn eight, let's do it flat. Oh, easy. Easy deal. Whoa. Not as quick as a Type R, though. I'm surprised. There's a better exit. Oh yeah, we're up three miles an hour. I think we just had to warm up these Pirelli courses. Yeah. 
Knowing the spec on this Mustang EcoBoost, I was really looking forward to the hot laps. It's got the high performance package. It has the Mustang EcoBoost handling package and it delivered. Sticky Pirelli Corsa tires, beautifully balanced through long turn two. I could just go flat out through the fast turn eight and it was stuck. It was easy, beautiful, as good as any Mustang I've ever driven to tell you the truth. As we ran, however, temperatures started coming up. Like I mentioned, it's 100 degrees out here today, and we're running 22 plus pounds of boost, just too much for the cooling system, and the car cut its power to preserve the engine. That was the warning message on the dash. Overall, what a fantastic car. I bet if it was 70 degrees, we could have gone flat out all day. It's a sweetheart on the track, more sports car than it is muscle car. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.